quick update. Had quite a big crash today. Like uh, I was going down the old freeway. I was going about 50, 60 k's an hour into a corner, following someone's wheel, and uh, he almost crashed. I did crash. Um, it wasn't great. Uh, my sunglasses are too big. Um, but yeah, it was pretty bad. Like had a lot of cuts and bruises. Luckily, I didn't break anything. Like it was a real bad corner because it basically turns left, and when you turn left, it um, has like concrete on the right hand side. So if you overcook it. That's game over, like you're just going into concrete. Luckily, like I was like going too fast, I realized at like the very end that I was um that I was gonna overcook it. So I slammed on my brakes, but in retrospect I shouldn't have done that. I should have just put them on a little bit and I probably could have made it. But um yeah, I didn't, which is a, a bit dumb. So we got some bruises here and like on my legs and shit. Um, I didn't hurt my elbows, uh, like a little bit, but they didn't I thought they could like I could have broken something. I, if I went flying into the concrete, like my knee could have gone or something. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sketchy. Um, completely my fault, to be honest. Like, I shouldn't have. Um, I shouldn't have really risked it. Like, there was no point. Um, so it's really annoying because I think tomorrow is like one longer stage. So normally you ride out like 130k or something. But I don't think I'll be up for that because my hands. That's probably the worst thing. Try to focus. Um, my hands are really bad. Um, just because like. I will turn it around like that. Um, shit. Uh, just because like I didn't wear gloves, which is dumb. I should have worn fucking gloves. But anyway, um, I don't know. We'll see what's we'll see what's going on. Um, hopefully, I'll just take these fucking things off. Um, hopefully, like it will be good and I'll be able to ride tomorrow. But I think probably not. And I'll have a couple of days off the bike. She's a bit annoying, but like I don't know. That's life. I could have like really hurt myself today, but I didn't, which is nice. Um, it was super hot, it was like 40, 40 something degrees today. So I'm not sure what content I'll be bringing you the next couple of days because I'm not running my bike, but we'll, we'll think of something. Maybe a bit of a review on Tour Down Under this today. Pretty exciting stage um, with old Richie Port and Sagan on the attack. Sagan winning, so that's pretty beaut. Um, anyway, we'll see. Um, I'll give you some updates on the injuries. I think I should be back Monday, Tuesday. Just go easy, um, recover. And then before you know it, we'll be back. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching. I'll probably show you like where I, where I crashed um, after this um, so you can avoid it and some Strava data. So I'll see you in the next vid. Right, so here we go. Um, this is how I crashed. So you might have seen the previous part of the video. So coming down the old freeway and we have this left-hander. So if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see so you have a sweeping right-hander. Then you go down here. Then you basically have a nice right-hander into a left-hander. And the left hand is pretty pretty sharp, but you can go pretty fast around it. Um, so I was following someone's wheel, which was not pretty dumb, not the best thing to do, especially if like you don't know the person one hundred percent well, or like they might take some risk, or like you're not as good as descender as them. Um, so yeah, that was dumb. Um, so I was coming around here. I was like pushed as far to the right as possible, and then we'll zoom forward. So I got to here, and I was like, yeah, probably going a bit fast. So put on the brakes a little bit. Got to here, I was like, yeah, probably all right. And I was about halfway where my mouse is here. I was like, oh shit, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna crash. And then I was still going and I was like, okay. And then when I was about here, just like where my mouse is, cause I came wide. I basically like the guy I was following, he, he was right there. So I was like, well, I don't want to crash into him. Um, so I basically put on, slammed on my brakes and just went flying off basically. Um, but you can see it's quite, it's not dangerous. Like, let's be honest. But it can be dangerous if you're being dumb, which I was being dumb. Uh, because, obviously, if you mess up the corner, there's that concrete thing. Like, in retrospect, like, yeah, I should have bunny hopped onto that or whatever and done whatever. But I didn't because in the time, it's hard to, like, actually think clearly. And you're like, shit, I'm going to crash. Uh, but, yeah, in retrospect, I probably should have just, like, gone straight, bunny hopped it and then slowed down or whatever. Might have, like, punctured a tire, but I probably wouldn't have crashed. But, yeah, so that was pretty bad. Like... It was not not. It was a bit annoying because I've got a nice ride planned tomorrow, but I don't think I'll be able to do it because my hands really hurt. So I think it's like wear gloves. Like I still probably won't wear gloves just because I hate wearing them and I don't crash that often. But it is super annoying. Um, when you do crash, obviously in races I wear them because that's when I'm more likely to crash. Um, but yeah, I was being dumb. So we can look at the Strava data here. So we're going like 54, 53, 54, 56, and then like you can see here, I didn't really slow down. And then boom, crash just there. Um, so like, if the road had been wider, or or if there wasn't that massive concrete thing there, I probably would have survived. But yeah, it was um, it was like one of those things where like the guy ahead of me slightly misjudged it as well. So he slammed on his brakes late, 
um, and I didn't want to hit him, so then I was like, I stand on my brakes. But in reality, like, you can never really blame the person ahead of you. It's always 100% your fault because, like, if I had just been going 5K an hour slower, I would have made that turn easy and nothing would have happened. If I hadn't been on his wheel, there are so many, like, ifs. Like, obviously, you can replay this in your mind. It's a pointless doing it because what's done is done. But, it, like, in order to think about the future and, like, how you can avoid crashing, it's pretty useful um, just to just to think, like, yeah, risk on the descent in a race maybe, but just, like, practice descending, practice, know your limits, know the limits on the corner or whatever. Like, I've done that corner a lot. That's why I'd gone so fast because, like, yeah, I think I can probably make it. But, alas, I couldn't, and I crashed. Uh, it's annoying. Probably off a bike for two or three days, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Like, I could have, like, slid and just smacked my knee into that concrete thing on, like, that gutter, and that could have broken my knee, and that would have been the end, and disaster. Uh, but instead, I was super lucky. I just basically scabbed everything, like, my elbows and everything. My bike is okay. Like, I got off pretty light. I didn't go flying over the handlebars. That's the other thing. Like, I could have slammed on the front brake and flying over the handlebars or whatever, but I didn't do that. Um, but anyway, just stay safe on the descent. Um, I'll probably still go crazy, probably crash still, because, like, you're always going to crash, basically, unless you take it incredibly slow on the descents. Um, and even then, like, people people still crash just randomly. Like, it's hard to it's hard to eradicate crashing, but you can definitely... T- like, obviously, if you go, like, super slow on the descents, you probably won't crash, but then is it as fun? I don't know. <laughs> like, you always just have to make that judgment call. And for me, I quite like going fast, quite think, good, think it's good practice just to go fast. But, yeah, obviously... I- Probably the next couple of days I won't be riding my bike, which is a bit sad. Um, but then after that, I'll probably still be smashing down the descent. I'll probably do the highway like straight away, just so that I don't have any fears of that corner. Because um, sometimes if you don't do something, your brain gets like, oh no, you might crash or whatever. But now we won't crash. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.